All right, let's get started. Um, doing puff pancakes, German puff pancakes. My family always called them Popeye pancakes for some reason. We got the oven preheated to uh, 375 ish. And uh, I've got a half cube of butter, and I've already got hot as hell in there, so we're going to go ahead and throw the butter in there because I need that to melt before we throw the batter over the top of it. Now, making the batter is simple. We're going to go one and a half cups milk. I've got one and a half cups flour. We're going to go half teaspoon of salt. I'm going to go a teaspoon of sugar. And we're going to go six eggs. One, two, yes, I know you can count. Three, four, five, and six. Now, I'm going to do something that uh, you don't normally do in this recipe. At this point, you can blend it up and then uh, cook your puff pancakes, but I'm going to add a little bit of flavor with a half banana. Okay. And some triple sec because it's got a little bit of an orange taste. I'm going to put about a, an ounce to an ounce and a half in there. And then uh, I'm going to blend it. There we go. We got it blended. All right. Now back to the uh, oven. We've got a pan of melted butter. Now, this is what I love about this recipe right here. All we do now is we take the batter and we pour it right in the middle of all of that butter. Simple, right? Open the oven again, and we're going to throw this in there again at the uh, 375 and it's going to take about 20 to 25 minutes is all. We'll be back with it. All right, it's been 20 minutes. Let's take a look. Show you the beauty in these pancakes and why they are called puff pancakes. It's because they get mountainous. Oh, look at that. Let's get down on the side. You understand here? This is why they're like this. They're beautiful. And if you could smell that banana bread smell that you get when you have fresh banana bread, because I put a half banana in this recipe, that's why I did it, because I love banana bread too. And then mix that in here with this puff pancake. That's the way to go. Now I'm going to throw some uh, confectionate sugar on this and uh, slice it up, serve it, give you a final look. And there you have it. Just a big old slice out of the corner of this uh, pan. Don't get discouraged after you take it out if it collapses and you think, oh no, what did I do? I should have baking powder or something crazy in there. Don't put baking powder in it. Just keep it like it is. It does collapse. That's just all there is to it. As soon as that heat comes out, all the air comes out too, so it's going to fall, all right? Not a big deal. Let's take it over to the counter here and throw what I like on it. Got the confectionate sugar on there, and I like the syrup. Simple as that. I'm going to go serve it to the wife. 